And, um, you don't believe in Jesus does Christ? God... Huh? You don't believe in Jesus Christ? No, I'm a Muslim. Uh, yeah, I believe in him, but uh, I I believe he's a prophet. Uh, well, as, a, as you were right, as a, you said, you said no. So as a Muslim, you don't believe in Jesus. Okay, uh, I have a question. Does God know everything to you? He knows everything, including the hour, including uh, fruits not being on fig trees. He knows everything. Okay, but guys, I'm not Jesus. dumb. I can hear. I know who I'm talking to. Go ahead. Jesus is Jesus didn't know the hour and it's and it's in the Bible. He did know so, the hour. It is in the Bible that he knew the hour. He knows everything. Twenty fourth book. It says, uh, it says that Jesus No man, no man, nor angel, nor the son knows only the father, right? Yes. Okay. The word no in the Greek there is oidin which is also used to mean to tell something or to declare, to make something known. So Jesus isn't saying that he doesn't know the, the hour. He's saying it's not for him to tell it, nor is it for the angels to tell it, nor is it for human beings to tell it. It's only for the father to make that known when he wants to. So, and here's how you know this. In a few chapters before this, Jesus compares his coming of the hour his coming to a Jewish wedding. Now in a Jewish wedding, the groom, the husband, doesn't announce the wedding day, nor does the bride, but the father of the groom makes known the wedding day. It's only the father that makes it known. It doesn't mean that the groom or the bride don't know their own wedding day. So similarly, Jesus says that his coming is like a Jewish wedding. He says that. He gives that parable. And so similarly, it's not for him to make it known. It's not for him to declare the day of the wedding. It's for his father to declare it. Make sense? Yes, but that that it actually doesn't make sense because he says the father he, uh, only knows it, but he says he's the son. So nobody knows it, only the father but, let me let but, me give let me give you an example. Let me give you an example of how yeah. this verse is used. So this word no or this this specific one because there's different words in the Greek for the word no. This this one specifically is oidin. And so I'm, what I'm telling you is used to as a in a declarative way like it's not for me to make to tell you this. For example, if you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, Paul uses the same word and he says this. He says, "When I came to you, so he came to the people of Corinth, and he preached the gospel to them. He says, when I came to you, I decided to know, oidin, there's that word again, I decided to know nothing except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Now, let me ask you this. When Paul says that he decided to know nothing except Jesus and him crucified, does that mean that Paul literally didn't have any other knowledge? That he literally didn't know nothing except Jesus and him being crucified? Yeah. It means that he literally didn't know anything? No, no, no. I mean, uh, like, wouldn't, that he, wouldn't he know his name and wouldn't he know, you know, his own birthday? Like, you know, wouldn't he know that he's in the city of Corinth? Wouldn't he know the people he's talking to? No. So he, he knows other things. So then why does he say, when I came to you, I decided to know nothing except Jesus and him crucified? That doesn't literally mean Paul didn't know anything else, right? No, but uh, how how um, is the thing that the father and the son, because he says that, but it's not true because the father and he says, uh, some someone said to me the other day that he's only the son and father is the God. That... Yeah, no, you're Doesn't getting make any you're, sense you're getting a little things I'm... you're getting a little things confused, but just just focus here with me. Focus here. We're focusing on knowing the hour or not. What I'm trying to show you is is that Jesus is not saying that he doesn't know the hour like mentally. Like he has he like he does not have the information of when that will happen. What he's saying is 
is that it's not for him to declare it. It's not for him to tell it. That's how that word no is being used. That's how Paul used the word no elsewhere. To It's telling something. To make something known. Make sense? Oh, like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, okay, thank you. If, uh, I know it now. Uh, I'm going to look it up. Uh, thank you. Of course, of course. Take care, man. Come back when, whenever you have another question. Again, guys, um, I know that I might not look like I'm the sharpest tool in the bunch, but I know a kid's voice when I hear one. I know a young man's voice when I hear one. Do you think that I'm not going to give this kid who has the courage to come up and challenge or ask questions, do you think I'm not going to lead him the right way and give him a correct answer to plant the seed just because he's a kid? So I don't need, oh, Logic, he's a kid. Logic, kick him, he's a kid. I can hear that. And the kids are the most right. They're the, they're the most sensitive. They're the ones we need to focus on before the devil corrupts them completely. Make sense? The Bible says that the kingdom of heaven belongs to the children. Let the kids come to me. That's what Jesus says. Let the children come to me. When the disciples tried to hold the kids back from coming to Jesus, he says, no, get out the way. Let the kids come to me. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. So when a kid comes in front of hundreds of people and he's willing to talk, absolutely, God has brought him to the right place. By the way, for those who were not here in the beginning of the stream, right before I, I started this stream, I was on the phone with a, with a Muslim, a now ex-Muslim. He gave his life to Christ. He gave his life to Christ. He accepted Islam. I was, I've been talking with him for about a week now. He was on one of my prior streams about a, about a little over a week and a half ago. He came through, and we've been talking ever since. And, uh, man, it's, it's a blessing. He came to Christ about 15 minutes before I started my stream. Came to Christ, accepted Christ. He was looking at stuff honestly. He was watching the videos, watching um, uh, my engagements with Zach, you know, uh, answering Zakir Naik and watching me answer Uthman. And he was like, man, these guys are liars. He said it himself. And he's, and uh, by the way, he's young. He's young in high school. And, and God pricked his heart and his mind to search these things. And he started reading the gospel. And he was reading, it was like, man, like, why do Muslims say that Jesus isn't God? It says it clearly in the Bible. It says it clearly in the Bible. I told him, read Isaiah 53. He read Isaiah 53, blew his mind. He said, it says it right here that Jesus is God who gave his life for us. He was amazed by it, guys. <laughs> he was amazed. He was blown away. And he was like, so this comes before the Quran and, the, and, and it contradicts this. Like, it, why would anybody think it's true? He got it like this because the Holy Spirit was leading this young man. And so he also has friends that he's talking to as well. It's God is doing some amazing things with not only just this ministry, but with, but with the ministries of others. And this year, man, this year, this year. And we're just in April. We're having so many conversions. So many people are coming to Christ. The Hebrew Israelite, the Muslim lady, uh, a, a couple of other Muslims in that's you know off screen, whether on the phone or in the back channel or in the comment section, they're announcing that they have accepted Christ. They've come to Christ. Adam, they've all come to Christ. They're, 2024 is wild. It's wild this year, man. It is wild this year.
There is no stopping this. Thank you guys for the super chats. There's no stopping this. We got Lynn saying, I too pray for Bishop Maramari, Emmanuel, and all the people at that service. May God's hand be upon him and you as well, Avery. God bless you both. Amen. 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 How can we become more learned apologetics wise? I would say read, do a lot of reading, spend some time reading and taking notes when you're watching us go live and engage with disbelievers. Um, do a lot of that. That's what I did. I did a lot of reading, a lot of vid watching videos and taking notes, man, and, and reading articles. <laughs> Topical wise, though. I studied topical, you know, I studied topics and mastered certain topics. And that's how, you know, you get well-rounded like that. Amen, amen. Let's see here. LJ says, after seeing the attack, my heart is heavy. So many prophecies coming to pass. Continue what you're doing. On fire for Jesus, they are following Satan. Exactly. John 16.30 confirms this Avery's view. Amen. John 16.30, it says, the disciples said to Jesus, now we know that you know all things and no one need to question you. Now we know that you know all things. And you know what Jesus' response was in the next verse? His response in the next verse is, do you now believe? Do you now believe? The Bible is clear that Jesus knows all things. Rush says, hey, Avery, just wondering if you'll add YouTube membership to this channel too. I'm already a member on 2.0 and just got GL tier four. So I'm out of options for another automatic reoccurring donation. <laughs> Much love. <laughs> um, I haven't thought about starting memberships on, on YouTube. Uh, GL 2.0, that's life's channel. So I, I don't, yeah, I haven't, I haven't thought about doing it here, but if you guys, if you guys do want to give monthly, I think that you're already like uh, a, a patron. So that that's good. But the best way if to give monthly for me is, um, is through Patreon. It's through Patreon um, for those who want to give. So for those of you guys who give, and by the way, thank you guys for all who give on PayPal, who give on Patreon and, and uh, Cash App and Venmo, all of you guys, thank you so much. Um, I wish I could respond to each and every one of you personally and just personally tell you how much I thank you, but I see all of you guys and thank you so much um, for helping the ministry out and supporting and, and financially. Thank you guys so much. That's right, Southside Snipers. All right. So I think that uh, that's enough super chats for now. Let me go ahead and bring up another guest. You guys ready? How you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Good. good. Uh, please excuse my uh, my English language. My mother tongue is Arabic, mm. but I'm here to uh, because I saw many questions you talk about, and I want to explain for your audience. Okay, which is which one uh, would you like start, to touch on? So I will start at the end, then I will. Uh, Go to talk about the, uh, the marriage you, you spoke about maybe 30 minutes ago. The word now, you explain it uh, wait, in the wait, Bible. Wait, what, what do you want to talk about? Uh, the word now you spoke about in the Bible with the kid. Oh, okay. You, so you said you had, it has uh, many meanings, yeah? Uh, the word oyedin has a declarative meaning. Yeah, yeah. When, you, when they said the, the father, no. Yeah. Can you explain it more? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll break it down. So uh, it's for the father to declare that hour. So the word no or oidin in the Greek is being used in a declarative sense, meaning to tell something or to announce something. So it's not for men or, or the angels or the son, apart from the father, to announce 
or declare to make known the day of uh, the day of the hour that Jesus comes. But the Father, it's for great, him to declare. Great, great, great. And uh, don't you think this word uh, need to be explained more in English at the Bible? Because in Aramaic or in the, this that language, for example, the word lion in English, it's only for the lion. But in Arabic, the word lion, it has 300 more uh, words for the word lion. Okay. So uh, we, in the, the word no, now or no in English, it's it's meaning it, it has only one meaning. It's it, it doesn't have a two meaning or three meanings. Well, the, this is why we're, we're not. I will skip the, that. I will skip that because well, I no, want to talk about the well, marriage hold on, hold about on, the prophet. Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me uh, just touch on what you just said. Um, the context is is allowing us to know how the word is being used. Yes, right. If it's trans so, translated in English, yeah. it should be more translation. So it doesn't have to be like not a, example, not not if you understand what the word what the, what the word means and then and its context. You don't you don't have to do super extras. It's okay. I'm not here for for discussing this uh, specific word. Okay. Uh, I want to talk about the marriage and the story behind this marriage because. Okay. Uh, uh, and then I will speak about the jizya. The marriage, uh, the, the prophet, when he 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 wanted to uh, forbidden the adopting. So, for example, if you are adopting, uh, he in the prophet lifetime, he uh, it reveals uh, laws and uh, sharia. Uh, step by step, like for, for example, alcohol was banned during the uh, during the years. It's not banned uh, at once. The in Quran said, "Don't drink and go to pray." Drinks at the time you don't pray. After that, he said, "Don't uh, drink at all." For, uh, what understand? what is are you so are you just talking about abrogation or what? No, I'm not talking about the abrogation. I'm simply trying to explain the story behind the marriage of the uh, the prophet or zainab and zaid okay yeah because i don't, Zaynab I, don't, I, don't know what, had, I don't know what the drinking or anything had to do with that yeah i will explain for uh zaid were uh not the real son of the prophet he was his son in adopting correct yeah he was his adopted son so he had adopted muhammad's name son. so so god wanted to reveal to his prophet that for uh, adopting is forbidden from now on till the end of the time and yeah after this af kept, after the situation yeah said, uh, yeah 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 so for that he divorced them zaid and zainab and he married zainab so what is your what's the point here because i we know that i think we we see because we when you discuss that. this at when you yeah when you uh, when you discuss it, uh, neither you and the other uh, speaker uh, said about this. Uh, yeah, I did uh, about what I said. Yeah, yeah I did. I, I literally mentioned that this is why Muhammad had so what is uh, your issue abol with it? abolished adoption because you said it's not right to it's not right for the prophet. To, well, yeah. So he was uh, he was his son, and then yeah, uh, and then canceled adoption so that he's not his son anymore to marry his wife or his ex wife. You think that that's okay? You think that 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 that's cool? Do I think about what? Do you that, think that that's okay to uh, to marry your your son's ex-wife? It's not right, but to that's what Muhammad did. So so yeah, he did. Why? to show for all his because it's the best scenario to uh, enforce this uh, this the new law do you okay let me ask you this do you think that it's good to adopt or bad to adopt it's forbidden no no I'm, i know it's forbidden Why? but i'm i'm just asking do yeah. you do you believe it's a good thing to adopt or do you think it's a bad thing to adopt for nasab in arabic uh, it's not a good thing so adopting, okay. So let's let me put it to you this way: 
ايوا <تصفيق> But they, but she is unable to give birth. They can adopt, but they cannot uh, give their names to the said uh, to the adopt. So they can't. So if they can't adopt. They can foster. But for example, you, can your fo- name is. Wait, wait, that's that's not adoption. That's fostering. They can foster someone, but they cannot yeah. adopt someone as their own child. Where that child is now theirs. They are in that family. And they receive the inheritance of their of their now new parents. Do you think this that is why exactly? Yeah. Do you you, 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 you think that that's is. you think that's good to to cancel that out? Being able to give parents who desire a family to be able to get rid of the only way that they're able to to have a family. They can adopt, but they cannot give their names to their adopted. Yeah, so they're not family. Son, son or daughter, yeah, yeah. A girl or boy. Right, so they're not family. Do you think that that's okay uh, to cancel yeah, out the only way for parents who really want a family of their own but cannot have it due to medical issues uh, to cancel out and, and get rid of the only way that these parents can have that that desire fulfilled and for a orphan child let's say an orphan to be a part of a family and have a family name of his own his or her own you think that that's a good thing to do to to, to get rid of that look uh we will have a great conversation if we talk it in arabic because my language is it's mm. not that great for uh, in arabic kafalat yatim kafalat yatim means uh, i can uh, take care of a child Mm-hmm. But it's not necessarily to uh, to I can uh, take care of him since day one till he die, but without take uh, giving him giving him my name. This man, this adopted son. Uh, it's called foster. His right is is called his his right is called by his fa- by his real father. Yeah, and and and, yeah, so and, let, example, and and what if, if an you, orphan? If you, what if, if an orphan doesn't alive, know their if father? You have, if you have a, if you have a son, no. What if, if their father is unknown? What if their father is unknown and they don't know the name of their father? Uh, okay, okay, okay. I will tell you. If you have a son, and uh, by the rule, by by this planet or uh, something happened, by the way, you took away from your son. After fifty years, you uh, you knowledge you uh, you find this uh, son. And you uh, you found out he he ha- he is adopted and he have a family name and have everything. What? How do you feel? Uh, you should feel happy your that some. Have, you should feel happy that somebody yeah, yeah, took your yeah, son yeah. in you will be ha- and took care yes, of them and he, gave them a family. He, he take care. So what about yes, what correct. about the so yeah? So what about the person? Good. So yes, what about the person good. who that's didn't it. know who their father But, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will tell you. I'm hundred percent with you. I will be happy. My son is t- is been taken care and uh, everything is. And good. he has a family But... of his own, a name. Yes, yes, yes. A, n- a name. Yes, a name and everything. But he has to be have my name because I am his real father. So that's okay, something. I lost him for 50 that... years. What happened after this? That's something years? that y'all can work my out. Son. What, that's uh, that's that's something that you and your son could work okay. out. Okay, okay, okay. Your you find your son after 50 years and he have another family name. Not, uh, not your uh, real name. Uh, what you will do? And uh, you, 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 you got to. That's to something your that funny. your. That's something that your 50 year old son can figure out with you whether he wants to keep his family's name that took care of him and raised him and gave really? him inheritance, really? Really? or really? or your name. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 I want to spoke a little bit about the jizya. What? Uh, Wait. No. Wait, took, wait. Uh, so is that is that he, a is that a is that a good thing or a bad thing? No, 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 no. I will come. We will come back to this point, but I will tell you something about the jizya because Yusuf didn't. Kai Bar shoots the super chat. Says Quran three one forty uses the same type of no as in the Bible, unless they want to admit that Allah does not know who believes in Him. Jesus is Lord. Free all and Joshas. Let my left shoulder go. Hashtag 
one name above all. Amen to that.